Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, people, this is a uh, white American neighbors going wild story. First, I got to say big shout out to the sub, George Jackson, for inspiring this video here. And we're taking it down to Tampa, Florida, okay? And in this story, we have this big Mayo monster neighbor, a knuckle-dragging beast by the name of Terrence K. Wolf down in Tampa, Florida. Now, apparently what happened was this black woman by the name of Benita McConaughey, she's out in her neighborhood in front of her house, watering her grass, okay? And at the same time, this white American man by the name of Terrence K. Wolf is walking down the street with his dog. Now, the story goes, I believe that he let his dog poop right on her lawn in front of her. And after the dog did that, like most people would, she said something to him about it. They exchanged a few words. They went back and forth with some words. And this man pulled out a metal pipe and started beating on this black woman, Benita McConaughey, with the pipe. That is assault. OK, that is assault. And depending on where he hit her with this pipe, that's attempt murder. You cannot hit another human being in the head with a pipe. Actually, a police officer cannot even hit you in the head with his baton. That's illegal unless they are cleared to use deadly force. That would be the same force as using a firearm. I don't know where he hit her at with this pipe, but he did her and hit her in the body. OK, so you would think that this man will go to jail or at least he needs to be arrested for this. Not at all. The city of Tampa said, nope, we are not arresting this man. So he goes home with his dog and on with his white life like nothing happened. Now, this is just another one of those sad, messed up situations where another one of these neighborhood mayo monsters, knuckle dragging beasts doing what they want to do to black people, just really upset simply because they have black neighbors, people, okay? Now, many people speculate that the city of Tampa is not responding or not doing the right thing because this black woman, Benita McConaughey, is an employee of the city of Tampa, or she once was, and she sued them for racial discrimination, okay? That's what some people were saying as to why the city doesn't care and why they are not responding to this situation like that, you know, being spiteful. So um, I don't even know if this sister Benita is OK. People get in the comments. Is she OK? I hope she is. I hope that this man didn't hit her in the head with a pipe where she's suffering some kind of severe brain damage or a cracked skull from this. I mean, this is just absolutely nuts. Um, so like I was saying, some say that uh, the city of Tampa may be upset that she sued them for discrimination and they just letting this dude get away with this. OK, now, people. This guy right here, I looked into some stuff with this guy, this Terrence guy, and uh, I hear a lot of people saying a lot of things, you know, we need to pull up, we need to do this, you know what I mean? Where is this at? I wish I was there, this neighborhood. Let me tell you something, man. Be very cautious if you think you're going to pull up or whatever with your mouth open, okay? Be very cautious because this dude, Terrence, already showed you what he would do. If you ain't responding to him very fast and aggressive, and violently, do not approach this knuckle dragon beast right here. He already showed you how he responds to verbals, especially from black women, okay? He already showed you. So I don't understand how much sense it would make to run up on this man or approach him or do anything unless you're approaching with intense violence, okay? I also understand that this man, Terrence Wolf, he has a lot of guns up in that crib. He has a lot of guns in the house, people, and he will shoot a black person. He's got the stand your ground thing in his corner already because people are already on social media saying uh, that they'll pull up and they'll do this and we, we need to go here. So he's going to say he's scared. OK, I understand, people. This guy has a lot of guns. Back in like 2020, a neighbor of his had to file a protective order against him for stalking. Her name is Lisa Newton. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but that sounds like a black woman. I'm not sure, okay? Correct me in the comments if you know anything about this situation. And Lisa Newton, okay? Well, 
when she fouled against him, he was forced to turn in all his guns. And he had shotguns and he had semi-autos. So he got everything up in that house. Okay? He has various guns. He probably more than likely knows how to shoot them. Okay? Now, in this situation with this protective order, long story short, the sheriff did eventually give him all his firearms back. Okay? They, first they took them, then they gave them back. So again, people, all that pulling up, this, this, and that, we need to go to his place and do this, this, and that. I get it, okay? But me personally, I have no idea how you pull up on any human being who already assaulted a woman with a metal pipe. I think that you got to do better than that. You got to one that up. That's like having an issue with somebody and they slap fire out of your mom and you go to have a talk with them. You can't do that. You got to one that up. He already showed you what he was capable of doing. So don't play around with this Mayo monster here, y'all. I see people saying that they're going to pull up. Where is this neighborhood? Don't play around with this Mayo monster. I ain't, No problem with pulling up or none of that. But remember what he already did. If you approach somebody like this guy, you cannot talk to him. You have to approach him and respond with intense violence. That's it. If you're not doing that, Leave it alone. Now, they do have a, a, a petition for this situation, hoping that the law gets involved and locks this man up for what he did, okay? Uh, they, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get this guy locked up, this petition. They want people to sign it. But let me get to the bottom of this here, people. If he gets locked up, he's coming right out, and nothing's going to happen, okay? If he gets locked up, he's coming right out, and nothing's going to happen for beating this black woman with the pipe, Okay? So what do we do in these situations? What do, you, what do we do, people? You know what I'm saying? What do we do? People get in the comments. My thing now is from understanding years of looking at situations and knowing how people are, I don't think that black and white people can live in the same neighborhood in most cases, people. That's just what it is. I just don't think, I don't think it's safe. I don't think we could. In some cases, yes, black people can live in the same neighborhood with white people, of course, because there are black people who have lived in a neighborhood with white people. No problems went on with their life. But most of us know, OK, every situation ain't the same. Everything has to be lined up perfectly for you to be successful, I believe, in these situations. So it's very possible. Yes, it's possible. It's happened with some. But most black people and white know it's going to be a lot of problems. And these problems, a lot of times, are going to result in violence. These guys like Terrence K. Wolf here. He's upset. They're mad. They don't feel as though that any black people should be in their neighborhood even watering their lawn. OK. And I do believe that black people have to do deep background checks in these communities where we're going to um, move into either rent a house or buy a house. I think that uh, black people have to definitely we got to definitely start going up and down that street. It's not hard to find out, you know, who lives in these houses, whatever, and doing background checks, find out everybody's name. There's certain complaints against them with the municipal building, whatever, you know, that's what it is, people. You know, we can't control where people live or where they have to live. But in order for this to work out in our favor, I think that black people have to do more background checks on these neighbors beforehand. You know what I mean? And those results to these background checks should be an important factor as to whether we move in or not. You get what I'm saying? So it's not like you got to be so paranoid, you know what I mean, because it's white people there. But it's like this. No surprises, yo. These situations, no surprises. These knuckle dragon beasts, these male monsters, they've been sitting in these neighborhoods assaulting black people uh, before. It might be things that, the, you know, the municipal building or whatever, showing that, oh, they did this in, you know, 2012, whatever, whatever, with this black person or this person, just to know what's going on, okay? Especially in these neighborhoods, where the houses are close, you know, cul-de-sac type styles, you know what I'm saying? Close houses. You know what I mean? That's what it is, people. These guys are sitting back, looking at things, watching, and you need to be watching them also, okay? You need to be watching them also. When these guys do terrible things to black people, the other white folks in the community are not going to go against the grain for you. As cool as you think they are, as cool as you may be to them, they are not crossing the grain. I mean, this year alone, look at the 
the stuff that white neighbors have been doing in 2024. You know, this has always went on, but, you know, we know more stories due to the Internet and social media, different media outlets, just brutalizing black people. We had the young man recently in Florida walking in Sarasota, Florida. The white community comes out, follows him, pulls out a gun. Heather Smith, I just did a story on her in Texas. Black woman in Texas, Heather Smith. White man just comes to her house, kicks the door in and blows her away. She don't have no relationship with this dude. In North Carolina, the black youth went outside, goes across the street to his white neighbor's house to bow his head in prayer with him. The white neighbor blasts him through the, through the door. You know, he shouldn't have did that mess. But you get what I'm saying? The white neighbor shooting through the door at him. Boy been living there eight to ten years. Knows who he is. A few days ago in Minnesota, white neighbor thug, Mayo Monster, shoots the black man in the neck from the window. None of these white neighbors are going to prison, people. Maybe except for the one um, in a situation with Heather Smith, the man that took her life. He may go to prison for that, you know what I mean? But uh, I just think that we're in a situation where if we have to live around and we got to move a little different, do more proactive work and background checks and things like that, because it, it could be some information that's right there that would deter you from wanting to be around you know, this devil right here. You know what I'm saying? This person that's going to cause these issues. This dude out here beating a woman with a pipe. He's walking around with a pipe. So people, look at that. Look at that situation. There. There's no way that you should be walking around in a white neighborhood without your pipe. He's walking around in his neighborhood with a pipe. You need to have a pipe. You need to know how to swing it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, that's just the way it is. And I'm not saying that this woman right here in Florida did something wrong. She was just watering her grass. You know? I just don't think that she thought that he would respond to her by beating her with a, a pipe. But listen, the hatred is that deep. It's real. That's the way it is, people. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this situation here in Florida with this sister this knuckle dragging beast, this neighborhood mayo monster, beating her with a pipe. It's absolutely sick. Easy.